The Bucknell Bison are the 2013 Patriot League champions in men's basketball after a 64-56 win over second seed at Lafayette on Wednesday night at Soika Pavilion. It's Bucknell's fourth Patriot League title and the second for the senior class. A pair of seniors paved the way as Mike Mescal and Joe Willman combined for 34 points in the win. Bucknell led at halftime and survived a pair of Lafayette runs that cut it to one possession twice in the second half. After Lafayette whittled the lead down to 43-40, Bucknell went on a 12-0 run to seal the win. Yeah, they got it real close. Uh, actually, Ryan Frazier had two huge plays. Gove on the floor, got us another layup, a foul. Um, you know, everybody, we weren't hitting shots necessarily the first half, but everyone stuck together and we really we pulled it out. And that's what this game was all about for Bucknell. The Bison stuck together as a team as eight players scored points and key contributions came from players like Ben Brackney, Brian Fitzpatrick, and Steven Casper. Uh, ben and Fitz hit some really big shots for us. Ben coming off the bench in the first half and, and Fitz to uh, inside finishing off the ju just on penetration. So definitely huge contributions. Uh, Joe did a really good job on the glass and our guards did a really good job defensively tonight too, which is huge. Absolutely. It was a 10-10 game and then Ben Brackney hit those two threes, put us up six to start. Fitz came in, hit a big jumper there to get us going. And uh, yeah, like everyone was dialed in, especially on defense, because we know offense will take care of itself kind of thing. So uh, the defense really got us going, and everyone was really locked in and stuck to the game plan. So it's a pretty, pretty good effort. That game plan held one of the league's hottest players, Tony Johnson, to 11 points and a 4 for 13 shooting performance. Joey Tuzinski went on a run in the second half to pick up his team, but it wasn't enough against the Bison, who were determined to defend their home court after last year's championship loss to Lehigh. This has been on our minds for a complete year after we lost last year to Lehigh, so I'm so proud of the guys. We worked really hard for this, and uh, I'm looking forward to what we can do in the tournament now. It's been great, and uh, it's been a long year, a long journey, but uh, it's been fun, and uh, couldn't be happier for the group of guys and uh, we just competed and all that stuff. And uh, it's pretty special to see all the hard work kind of come to fruition and get a chance to win the championship. So it's nice, but we'll celebrate a little bit and then we'll get ready for the NCAAs. Uh, it's unbelievable, you know, our last game, our last, my last game in Soika, get a win. Um, it's a satisfying feeling, all the hard work we put in. Great team and it feels good that it's paying off. But it's not the last game for the seniors as the Bison will advance to the NCAA tournament. No matter what happens in the tournament, they will forever remember the memories they've made in Lewisburg, Pennsylvania. It's been awesome, you know, it's been up and down four years, but I love everybody here in Lewisburg and the Bucknell community. They've shown so much support. Uh, it means the world to me and the rest of the players. I know they have so many fans at every game, so I'm um, trying to keep, the, keep, this, uh, keep these wins coming, hopefully, and, and, and on, a, on a good note. Yeah, it's special. It's just, it hasn't really sunk in yet, and uh, so we still think we got a lot of work to do, and uh, so we're going to keep focusing on that. But uh, at the same time, man, like the group of seniors, Colin, Mike, Joe, have been awesome, and uh, it's awesome that I can call them my best friends here. So.